Hello and welcome back to English for You. I'm Seb. I'm Kathy. And we are talking about a country today for our fun facts、mm-hmm. article. Okay, so first,、uh, Kathy, this、yes. country is in North America. So can you guess、mm-hmm. what this country is?、North、what its、America. name is?、Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll guess Canada. You'll guess Canada. Wow!、Yes. I no offense to Canada, but I feel like most people would normally guess the USA when they hear North America. <laughs> but yes, we are actually talking about Canada. Okay, so Canada.、Um, today we're going to be talking about Canada's national flag.、Mm-hmm. But first off, do you know anything different or strange about Canada? Because there's actually a lot of weird and wonderful things about、yes. this country. Yes. Oh,、mm-hmm. here's one here. Uh, when we think of jails, we、mm-hmm. often think that they keep prisoners, which is people, of course.、Mm-hmm. However, in、uh, I think it's Manitoba, Manitoba,、yeah. Manitoba,、mm-hmm. a small remote town of Churchill、mm-hmm. stands the only polar bear prison in the world, and、wow. this is because the amount of polar bears. Are more than the people living there. So, in order to pre-、uh, prevent people from being attacked by hungry polar bears, they built this polar bear prison. Oh, I think I've heard <laughs> about this actually. Yeah, because、mm-hmm. the polar bears sometimes come into the town. Yes, and they get into people's bins. Yeah, and they're dangerous, so they can't get rid of these polar、mm-hmm. bears on their own. So they they take them to this prison,、mm-hmm. and then when the polar bears have calmed down after a day, then、mm-hmm. they release them back out into the、mm-hmm. forest. Okay, that's very very interesting.、Um, I know an, another fact about Canada, which is very interesting, is、okay. that it has a queen. Do you、mm-hmm. know what the name of the Queen of Canada is? Actually, I don't. It is Queen Elizabeth the Second. It's、mm-hmm. actually the same queen as the Queen of England.、Oh. The Queen of England is also the Queen of Canada,、mm-hmm. New Zealand, and Australia, and some other、mm. places as well. So Canada is technically, so that's in theory, a monarchy, and our Queen, the、mm. Queen of England. Is also on their money, and that goes actually back to、uh, to history, to Canada's history as part of the British Empire, and it has a lot to do with what we're going to be talking about today. So let's find out what、uh, Canada's history, what is its involvement with England is, and why this affected its national flag and how its flag changed fifty years ago. Let's take a look now. Reading. Fun facts: The red maple leaf is an easily recognized symbol of Canada. However, for most of the country's history, it wasn't an important part of its flag. Canada originally used a flag that was designed by the British back when the land was UK territory. By 1960, this flag was regarded as a symbol of British control. In 1963. The newly elected prime minister promised to give Canadians their own flag. He proposed a design with blue sides and three maple leaves in the middle. However, government members strongly opposed it, so they formed an independent committee to propose different flag designs. As new ideas were put forward, debates became common. Committee members, politicians, and citizens. Could not agree if the flag should reflect Canada's past or if it should symbolize the country's future. The government finally approved the red maple leaf flag in 1965. However, it didn't sit well with British-born Canadians who preferred the old flag. But French Canadians were happy to be done with a symbol that didn't represent their culture. Okay, so today's article starts by saying the red maple leaf is an easily recognized symbol of Canada.、Mm-hmm. Yes, of course, we all know that the flag of Canada is that big red leaf with two red stripes、yes. on either side. However, the article says for most、mm-hmm. of the country's history, it wasn't an important part of its flag.、Mm. Actually, I didn't know this. I thought Canada's flag was always a red maple leaf. However, as we're about to find out, that wasn't always the case. First, though, what is a maple leaf, Kathy? Okay, maple is 枫叶，所以 maple tree 就是枫树。
Uh, I think there are approximately 128 species,、mm. most of which are native to Asia, with a、mm-hmm. number also appearing in Europe, Northern Africa, and、mm-hmm. North America. And the maples have easily recognizable palmate leaves and、mm-hmm. distinctive winged fruits. And you've probably seen many of them in Taiwan. So, 大家看到枫叶应该都会联想到加拿大。但其实整个历史当中，它并不是加拿大国旗重要的一部分哦。So let's move on and see why.、Mm, let's. The article says Canada originally used a flag that was designed by the British back when the land was UK territory. Okay, so it originally used a flag designed by the British. Now, when we design something, we plan what it is going to look like.、Mm-hmm. Design. It's also a noun. Is used in a lot of jobs and industries, but especially in the fashion industry.、Mm. Fashion designers are people who think of new ideas for clothes. They'll draw pictures of the clothes, decide what kind of material should be used, and how it should fit people. That way, the manufacturers—that's the people who make the clothes—will、mm-hmm. know how to make it. So, in the same way, the British designed a flag for Canada. They decided how it was going to look. Before we talk more about that, though, let's go to an example sentence for design. Okay. Robert designed his own house and then got a company to help him build it. Okay, so they designed a flag for Canada, and why、yes. did they do this? Well, because it was part of UK territory. So、mm-hmm. remember, I was saying before、mm. uh, that Canada used to be part of the British Empire,、mm-hmm. and this is why it was part of UK territory. Now, territory is a noun. And territory is land that belongs to a person, organization, or country. Normally, when we're talking about territory, we mean the territory belonging to countries. So, if Taiwan's territory, for example, includes the island of Taiwan, Penghu,、mm-hmm. Jinmen, and a few other islands, so that is all of Taiwan's territory. Therefore, during the、uh, sorry, not therefore. But during the British Empire, the UK also had lots of territories.、Mm-hmm. So these included Canada, India, Hong Kong, and Australia,、yes. all of which are now separate countries.、Mm-hmm. So now they're not you, the UK's territory anymore. There's an adjective form for territory too, and that is territorial. When a person or animal is territorial, they don't want people in their space. So, for example, territorial dogs might、mm. bite you if you go in go too close to them. So you have to be very careful around territorial、yes. dogs. Let's look at an example sentence now. Hong Kong is part of China's territory, but it has a different culture, government, and different laws. Okay, so let's take a、uh, take a look at two words here. The first one is design, 设计。文章中说呢 ，was designed by the British， 就是英国人设计的。Design 这个字也有意图、计划、目的的意思。举个例子 ，The design was to build a new library. 计划是建造一个新的图书馆。那另外一个字是 territory， 领地、地区。若要用 territory 造个句子呢，你可以说 They recaptured the lost territory. 他们收复了失去的领土。And because the flag was designed by the British back when the land was UK territory. Therefore, the article says by ninety or nineteen sixty, this flag was regarded as a symbol of British control. 这里的 regarded as 的用法是 regarded A as B， 以受词补语这个 B 呢来补充说明受词 A， 用来表示把 A 认为或是视为 B 的意思。那其中受词补语可以是形容词或是名词。除了主动语态之外呢？该句型也能改为被动的语态。嗯、mm-hmm. 哼 ，Of course, we're saying that it was seen as, or people understood this place、mm-hmm. as part of UK territory.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so the article goes on. In 1963, the newly elected prime minister promised to give Canadians their own flag.、Mm-hmm. Okay, that is a big promise for the prime minister. Yes. Now, prime minister is a noun, and a prime minister is the person who is in charge of the government. In some countries,、mm-hmm. normally these countries are these are countries that have a king, queen, or emperor.、Mm-hmm. So, the UK, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand all have prime ministers, as does Japan. 
Countries that do not have prime ministers normally have a president. 嗯，这里提到的 prime minister 就是首相。我们来造个句子哦。Canada's prime minister is the counterpart of the U.S. president. 加拿大总理相当于美国的总统。And so the article gives us another information. He proposed a design with blue sides and three maple leaves in the middle. Hmm. Okay. So that is a little bit different to what the the current flag is.、Mm-hmm. Okay. And the article explains a little bit of the reason why. However, government members strongly opposed it, so they formed an independent committee to propose different flag designs.、Mm-hmm. Okay. So the beginning of this problem was that government members. Strongly opposed it. Now, oppose is a verb, and when we oppose something, we are against it. The article is saying that government members, some politicians, were were against changing the flag. They didn't want it to be different. If they thought changing the flag was a good idea, then we would say that they supported the idea. We use oppose a lot in formal situations, especially when talking about politics. That's because in every government there is a political party. Zheng Dang, that is in charge, and other polit、uh, other smaller parties that disagree with them on core issues. These parties are known as the opposition. We normally use opposition, that's the people or organizations that are against something, in formal situations. Politics being the most well-known example. Here's another example of how we can use op- oppose. This government opposes gender discrimination. Discrimination. Which is why it is making a new law to protect women in the workplace.、Mm. Okay, so before we move on, here is another important word we saw: independent, which is an adjective. And when something is independent, it's not in, in connected to anything else. It's known. It's it's its own thing, is what we're saying. In the article, we're talking about an independent committee. A committee being a group of people whose job it is to make decisions about something.、Mm-hmm. In some cases, a compute a committee is part of a bigger organization, such as a political party. However, when a committee is independent, it is completely separate from other things. That way, people know that the decision that the committee is making is fair. That's why it's important to set up independent committees when making big, lasting decisions like changing the a country's flag.、Mm-hmm. Here's another example of how we can use independent now, as we saw it with independent committee. The school hired an independent organization to help them teach a special health and fitness class, and we're saying that it's independent because it is was not the teachers from this organization were not from the school.、Mm-hmm. They were hired to come to the school、mm-hmm. and help them teach this class.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so a few words to look here. The first one is oppose, 反对反抗后面可以加上呢名词或是 v i n g。那如果是使相对或是使对抗的意思的话，后面就可以加上 to 或者是 against。那另外一个是 independent， 独立的、自立的。这个字你可以和 dependent 依靠、依赖一起记哦。两个字刚好是相反的意思咯。我们用 independent 造个句子。Many colonies in Africa became independent nations in the 1950s. 非洲许多殖民地在呃二十世纪五十年代成了独立国家。文章接着说呢 ，a new idea. As new ideas were put forward, debates began. Uh, became common. Put、mm. put something or somebody forward 是提出什么想法、观点或是理由等等。像生活中，如果在一个场合当中，你想提出你的意见，你就可以说 ，Excuse me, can I put forward my suggestion? 或是每次发生什么事情的时候，你的朋友可能会有固定的说法或是解释的理由，你就可以说 ，This is an explanation often put forward by my friend. Hmm. Okay. So they were putting forward new suggestions.、Mm. Now the article says committee members, politicians, and citizens could not agree if the flag should reflect Canada's past or if it should should symbolize the country's future.、Mm-hmm. Okay, so we talked about government members, and now we're talking about politicians. Politician is a noun, and a politician is someone who works in politics. Politicians work for the government. 
and normally it's their job to vote on new laws and decide on how the country should be run. However, because com- countries are very big and complicated organizations, there are lots of different types of politicians. Mm-hmm. Presidents and prime ministers, like we said, are one example. Another example are governors. Governors are the people who run a smaller part of the country, such as a region or a state. For example, New York has a governor, but the United States has a president. Regardless of what type of politician a politician is, it's their job to represent the people's wishes, and that's why politicians were involved in deciding whether the flag should be changed. Now we can also use、uh, politicians do a lot of other de- jobs, and、mm-hmm. they begin their job by being elected, and that's what we see in our example sentence. Several new politicians were voted into office in the election. Hmm. Okay. This part mentioned is to say, "No." 对于这个国旗是应该反映加拿大的过去，或是象征国家未来呢？委员会的成员啊、政客及市民没有办法达成共识或是下结论。Politician 就是政客，是从 politics 政治这个字来的。A reflect 是表达反应的意思。如果你要表示思考某事的话，英文你可以说 to reflect on or upon something。那另外一个这里提到的单字是从 symbol 来的，是 symbolize 象征代表。例如呢 ，the dove symbolizes peace， 鸽子象征和平。Okay， so our article goes on and says the government finally approved the red maple leaf flag in 1965. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So the new flag became legal. It started being、mm-hmm. used in 1965. However. It didn't sit well with British-born Canadians who preferred the old flag. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's an an opposite opinion、mm-hmm. here. Okay, so 有关 sit well with 这个片语呢，接下来我们就要进 pocket phrase go 小单元，请讲师做更详细的解释喽。Pocket phrase go. Their decision didn't sit well with the elderly. 但是吼、哦，像花妈哦这种阿姨哦，操作起来实在有障碍呢。Sit well with somebody. 跟谁坐在一起哦，坐得好好的，就表示呢被后面的这个 somebody 给接受或是被喜欢啦。政府的这个决策、哦、didn't sit well with the elderly. 不被哦长辈们给接受。这句话呢就是这个意思啦。但是吼、哦，我、哦、说啦，会长时期，我们还是要努力的把它学起来啦。Okay, so we also had a vocab word in there. Prefer. Now, prefer is a verb, and we say that we prefer one of two options when we like one of those options more than the other one. For example, Kathy could ask me, "Do you like eating noodles or do you like eating rice?" If I say I like eating rice more, that means I prefer rice. Rice is my chosen option. A fancy way of saying this would be, "Rice is my preference." Preference is the noun form of prefer. Our preferences are the things that we like and we choose. So, for that reason, Kathy could also say, "We have rice and noodles. Do you have any preferences?"、Mm-hmm. Which is the same as saying, "Which of between rice and noodles do you prefer?"、Mm-hmm. So, we have another example here. Emily prefers to walk to school rather than go by bus. So the article continues, but French Canadians were happy to be done with a symbol that didn't re- represent their culture. Hmm. 这边今天最后一个片语是 be done with. 大家可以用 done 这个字来帮助记忆这个片语。如果你说 I'm done， 是指你做完什么事情了。I'm done. I finished my homework. 那 be done with 是不再使用的意思。所以这边他们都有结束 to end something 的意思。是相关联的，大家可以连接在一起记喽。嗯哼 ，I'm actually quite interested to know why French Canadians weren't happy and what this has to do with their culture. But actually, that is what we're going to be talking about 
next, next episode.、Mm-hmm. Yes, that is in day two. But first, let's check out our for you chat question. For you chat. Okay, so our chat question for today is one that I think a lot of people have opinions about.、Mm-hmm. What do you think of Taiwan's flag? Do you think it represents the country well?、Mm. Mm. Okay, actually, I like our flag,、mm-hmm. and I think it does represent our country.、Um, if you take a look at the color, it has blue, white, and red on it, and these three colors have a particular meaning. Blue represents nationalism and liberty. White represents democracy and equality. Well, red represents the people's livelihood and fraternity. So, actually, I do think it represents our country well.、Mm, okay, so there's, there's nice symbols in there. The、mm-hmm. blue is freedom. The white、mm-hmm. is the freedom in government, so、yes. people's ability to choose their politicians. And the red shows that people come together. When there's a problem, yes. So th- there's a lot of nice meaning there, but I know that there's a lot of people who like another flag for Taiwan as、mm-hmm. well, right? There、mm-hmm. is one which is it's kind of similar to Canada, actually.、Mm. It has、uh, two coloured stripes on one side, a white middle, and、mm-hmm. then a image of the Ta- the island of Taiwan in、yes. the middle. So that's the other Taiwan flag, not the official Taiwan、mm-hmm. flag, the green and white one. And I know a lot of people like that as well.、Um, I think it's quite. An, that's a nice and in, in, an interesting flag too. I like that it it is it represents Taiwan more as its own thing,、mm-hmm. um, and so I see why that could be very popular for some people. Anyway, that is all the time we have for talking about flags today. I'm sure you all have your own opinions、mm-hmm. on、uh, Taiwan's flag. Whether you like it, whether you think it should change, you can discuss that. Um, but we will join you tomorrow when we're going to be looking at more stuff to do with Canada, specifically a very special province in the east of the country,、mm. which is very different from all the other ones. So we will join you tomorrow to discuss that. But for now, it's time to say goodbye. So、mm-hmm. for English for you, I'm Seb. I'm Kathy, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye. Fun facts. The red maple leaf is an easily recognized symbol of Canada. However, for most of the country's history, it wasn't an important part of its flag. Canada originally used a flag that was designed by the British back when the land was UK territory. By 1960, this flag was regarded as a symbol of British control. In 1963. The newly elected prime minister promised to give Canadians their own flag. He proposed a design with blue sides and three maple leaves in the middle. However, government members strongly opposed it, so they formed an independent committee to propose different flag designs. As new ideas were put forward, debates became common. Committee members, politicians, and citizens. Could not agree if the flag should reflect Canada's past or if it should symbolize the country's future. The government finally approved the red maple leaf flag in 1965. However, it didn't sit well with British-born Canadians who preferred the old flag. But French Canadians were happy to be done with a symbol that didn't represent their culture. Vocabulary review. Design. The new apartments were designed by a talented building planner. Territory. The fishermen thought the little island belonged to Taiwan, but in fact, it was Japanese territory. Oppose. My mother opposed my father's plan to buy a new car, and told him he should save his money. Independent. This independent school decides what to teach and doesn't follow the government's education system. Politician. 
During the last election, so many politicians were at the MRT stations asking people to vote for them. Prefer. I like dogs, but I prefer cats because they are quiet and easy to take care of. 智慧小补帖 Maple. Prime Minister. Reflect. Symbolize. Triple W dot English 4U dot net。